Welcome back everyone and today I'm here with Jeff Grant, SBR contributor and we're going to be looking at that game between the Angels and the Orioles. And first off, Jeff, congrats on predicting that Kerwin Danley that he would help the under cash in for us on yesterday's match. Thanks, Dax. That's one of the more dominating trends uh, that a lot of people seem to ignore is umpire trends and Danley definitely to the under. Uh, for the rest of the season, our viewers should look at his assignments in the future. Definitely, definitely, man. So, Jeff, today we might be seeing a sweep that's probably going to happen in Baltimore. But considering the fact that the Orioles have been relying a little bit too much on their starting rotation over the last nine games, do you think that this might actually hurt their chances of pulling it off? No, I think it's going to be a good thing. This is when you want your pitching staff to really come together after the All-Star break, uh, closing out the regular season, especially getting ready, uh, getting your rotation ready for presumably, presumably if they win the AL East division, for the playoffs, so I think that's going to be a strength, and they do have a, a quality starter on the hill for this uh, series finale. No doubt, man. And and now you did mention in your article that uh, outfielder Adam Jones is going to be an important piece for the team's offense. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? You know, Dax is one of the more solid outfielders that nobody talks about. He's a perennial all-star now. Uh, he's hit a lot of home runs in crucial situations, and especially in this series, Jones has been even more important with first baseman Chris Davis being out for the two, first two games of the series with flu-like symptoms. So expect Jones to be the story offensively for the, for the Orioles. All right, that's good, man. And how about Skaggs and Norris? These guys are the lined-up pitchers for this event. Um, from what I've seen, I think that Norris should have the upper hand in this match. But what do you think? That's absolutely correct because Skaggs is one of those young pitchers for the Angels that have really racked up a lot of innings. They aren't used to throwing this deep into a professional season. While we, you, you look at, uh, on the other side, Bud Norris has great success. He's perfect record against the Angels in his career, and a lot of that came during his time with the Houston Astros. Of course, the Astros, a division rival of the Angels, so I think Norris will be able to keep that role going against the Angels, despite the fact that he did face them last week. Yeah, no doubt. I think the same. So in this case, I'm, I'm pretty much guessing that you're going to be leaning on the Orioles, right? Yeah, both teams are playing solid baseball uh, since the All-Star break, but the Orioles are playing much better when you look at the records against teams with a winning record. The Orioles have one of the best marks in all of baseball, so that's one of the few reasons why, and one of the many reasons why, I'm going to back the Orioles over the Angels on Thursday. All right, man. Sounds like a lock, man. I hope we win this one, too. Good stuff, Jeff, and thanks once again, man. Thank you. Sportsbookreview.com. This is Dax Floyd.